many nurses at the City Hall-run Dr. George P. Royeca Memorial Hospital in General Santos City left and found work elsewhere. The exodus is prompted by poor working conditions amid the increasing number of COVID-19 cases in the city. The nurses say they were made to put on personal protective suits for hours without toilet breaks while attending to critical patients in a COVID-19 facility. They were also asked to wear adult diapers and work for 12 hours per shift to cut down on costs of PPEs. Each PPE costs 2,500 pesos to 3,000 pesos, and once a health worker takes it off, he or she cannot put it on again. At least eight nurses recently left and transferred to a hospital in nearby Sarangani province where work conditions and the pay were much better. In the Visayas, major Bacolod hospitals announced they are temporarily halting admissions. Bacolod City Administration M. Ang says infections among hospital staff can be a reason for the limited hospital capacity. The Corazon Loxin Montalibano Memorial Regional Hospital and South Bacolod General Hospital closes its doors to all new COVID and non-COVID admissions. Privately owned Dr. Pablo O. Torre Memorial Hospital and Bacolod Adventist Medical Center, meantime, are no longer admitting COVID-19 cases or patients showing symptoms of infection. In Iloilo province, half of the government hospitals have at least 100% bed occupancy rates, and three hospitals have already accommodated more than their allocated COVID-19 beds. Aside from hospitals full of patients from other provinces, Iloilo City is also experiencing a spike in local cases. The city's total confirmed cases for September 1 to 12 stand at 1,283, more than the 906 recorded in the same period in August. Iloilo City Mayor Jerry Trenas says clusters of infections shifted from workplaces to homes with local transmission of the more infectious Delta variant. Human rights lawyer Shell Diopno on Wednesday, September 15, confirms he will run again as senator in the 2022 elections. He trusts that a lot has changed since the overwhelming loss of the opposition slate Otso Derecho in the 2019 midterm elections where none won. Diocno, the son of anti-Marcos icon Jose K. Pepe Diocno, is the founding dean of the De La Salle University College of Law and a key member of the Free Legal Assistance Group. During the 2019 campaign, Ocho Derecho said it could not fully hit the ground running because local officials were scared to visibly support them. Diocno says the Senate's investigations into questionable pandemic contracts awarded by Duterte's government will definitely affect the political landscape in 2022. Diocno also says he will run as an independent candidate, although he still supports the goal of opposition coalition Isambayan to come up with a unity slate. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The Department of Education says enrollees for school year 2021 to 2022 surpassed last year's 26.2 million students. The department records 26.3 million students enrolled as of Wednesday, September 15, two days after the school opening. The DepEd expects the figures to go up as it extends late enrollment to September 30. During school opening on Monday, September 13, Education Secretary Leonor Briones said the start of classes for the second time in a pandemic was a celebration of victories against COVID-19. But this did not sit well with the public, as issues hound school opening like the students' lack of gadgets and poor internet connectivity. The Alliance of Concerned Teachers says there are still no plans from the government on how to safely reopen the schools. By the end of September, the Philippines and Venezuela will be the only countries in the world where classes are done remotely. 
Filipino lawyers opposed the bid of presidential spokesperson Harry Roque to be elected to the International Law Commission or ILC. The National Union of People's Lawyers on Tuesday, September 14, calls it a, quote, hypocritical ambition of a fellow Filipino lawyer to reinvent himself. It also says Roque, a former human rights lawyer, is morally undeserving to be part of this August international legal organ. The ILC is a United Nations body that helps informing rules and legal norms to be adopted by UN member states. The Free Legal Assistance Group, or FLAG, also one of the leading legal and human rights groups in the country, meanwhile does the formal route of writing to each member state to urge them not to elect Roque. FLAG urges the members to take note of Roque's public statements, including persistent denials that there are extrajudicial killings in the president's bloody drug war. The University of the Philippines Diliman Executive Committee also opposes the nomination of Roque to a seat in the ILC. It says Roque has a very poor track record of promoting, defending, and fulfilling human rights and the rule of law especially during the Duterte administration. In the middle of confusing transitions to new quarantine classifications in the Philippines, Roque flew to New York as the member states choose the 34 members of the ILC. Roque was nominated by the Philippines through President Rodrigo Duterte. Apple on Wednesday, September 15, Manila time, launches the iPhone 13, which once again, consists of four different models. All four new iPhone models, namely the iPhone 13, iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max come with a host of iterative improvements over the iPhone 12. The first of which is the new Super Retina XDR display that supports an adaptive 120Hz refresh rate or ProMotion technology as Apple calls it. This makes motion such as crawling, for example, appear smoother on your screen. Another new feature is the option to have 1 terabyte worth of storage, the largest storage size on an iPhone ever, for the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. The Pro iPhones also benefit from a new triple camera system featuring a larger 77mm telephoto lens with a 3x optical zoom. Video recording boasts some new capabilities as well, with Apple adding a cinematic mode that lets you shift focus between subjects on the fly, creating depth effects like what you see in the movies. All models also boast of a longer battery life. 